Okay, so following along with our work show, workflow series, I wanted to talk to you about culling. And I know that a lot of photographers struggle with this and what do I keep and what don't I keep? Your philosophy for your studio might be completely different than my philosophy for my studio. I promise my clients for weddings anyway that they will get at least a photo a minute. And I do shoot a lot of pictures. Now I'm in the, in the middle of editing this wedding as we speak. So I've already separated out the files that I'm going to give them. I shot this wedding with a second photographer. We shot a little bit more than 6,000 images between the two of us. I know some of you will think, oh my gosh, that's a ridiculous number of images. Fair enough. If you shoot a lot less, you may not need to invest the $200 that I invested in this culling program. Basically, I only use it for culling. It's called Photo Mechanic. It costs $200 and it was some of the best money I've ever spent. And I'm going to show you why. Now, you know when you... Let's say you use Lightroom, which is, I'd say, what the majority of photographers use for at least the first part of their editing or their main editing. It's one of the more common tools. And let's say you use that. Now, you may find that you've got all your raw files and it may take you a really long time to upload and create previews that you can look at before you can even look at the file, you have to wait for a preview to load. What I like about Photo Mechanic is basically this. I, previews did not need to load for this. And I wanna show you just how fast I can go through the images. Now, these are the images that I've already edited out. Some of them were because they were a little bit blurry or one was sharp. Sometimes I will shoot several weddings in a sequence and I'm, and I'm you know, just taking little angles. I might, uh, you know, like let's say this, these cats, look, that was kind of blurry. I shot this at, oh, aperture 3.2, but sometimes I'll be shooting at an aperture 1.2 or 1.8. And yeah, some things are out of focus. So that's why I will take two or three pictures in a second. And that's why I end up with quite a few images. You might shoot differently. But the thing that I just find absolutely amazing is how fast I can look at these files. These are straight out of the camera all they've all I've done is I've uploaded them into a folder on my system no preview no needing to wait for preview time this alone has just been amazing so I'm able to go through and what I do is pretty much this the only things I use this for are if my second shooter has shot uh, accidentally we didn't sync up our time I can go in and I can select his files he's all the CR2s I'm all the NEF because I am Nikon he is Canon and basically I can adjust the capture dates and times for all the Canon or for anything from a certain serial number by hours, months, minutes, dates. I've already done this. It was an easy process. It literally took me about two seconds. I just matched up the kiss or a certain section in the photo. But basically, besides that, I use this for culling. And I wanna show you how fast generally I am at culling images that will then be imported into Lightroom. No previews have been loaded, keep this in mind. So. I will go through and instead of opting out, I only opt into an image. So let's say this is one I've chosen. I select the number one key and you'll see it creates a little pink tab and I'll just go through and I'm like, no, that one's like, okay, well that I might give them, nope, too, delete, too blurry, too blurry, not a little bit too blurry. Um, this one, I can always correct the, um, the horizon line in it. Uh, blurry too blurry yeah sure maybe I might give them this one I might crop into it and I'm able to select just like that I'm I'm pretty ruthless at the same time I I just you know if it's if I know I'm not going to give the the file to someone why sit and spend a long time I can see the little thumbnails below and I can tell that there's another image coming up which one of these two do I like the best Hmm, maybe I like this one the best and I select number one then all I do is I go edit select color class I choose the winners and I move them into the file folder here that I went over in the first video called chosen and I'll talk to you about what I do in Lightroom after that but pretty much that's how I call my images I 
I think I spent under an hour, maybe, maybe around an hour, culling through more than 6,000 images because of this program, because I don't have to wait for free views to load even though they're raw. This program for me was the best $200 I've probably spent on my business. But that said, if that doesn't work for you, fair enough, ignore everything I said. If you find that you just shoot a lot less photos than I do and and you maybe even have less jobs than I do. I shoot about 30 weddings a year. So you can imagine this program has been a lifesaver in terms of saving me time because I don't have to wait for the previews to load. I can't speak more highly about Photo Mechanic. And that concludes this. Next, I'm gonna to talk to you about my Lightroom workflow, which is a little bit different than some other photographers, but, uh, but basically I'll go through everything that I do since I get asked a lot about how I do my workflow and, and what I do to the images.